Okay, sorry about the mess, uh, but anyways, um, this is how you can install your um, sprocket into your uh, 3D printed uh, plastic pulley. Um, the tools you're going to need is an M4 hex, um, M10 wrench, and the included hardware. So here's how you do it. So I use an uh, impact driver because it's faster, but you don't want to put this in there. Uh, line up the holes uh, for me. I believe it's this. So it'll only work one way, basically. Um, so you line up your holes. And see, that one's a little off. So it might have to flip it around. Still a little off. Let's move just one more tooth. There we go. Now it's perfect. So you can see right through it. Um, and some, some sprockets... Uh, We'll have the hole down there. Others will have it up here. So I include both hole nuts. Okay. And then you can try. Give it some muscle. And that should usually do it. As you can see here, the distance isn't too far. And it's fairly even on all sides. So now what you can do is get these going. They should slide in. If they don't, you can uh, use the Allen key to get them in there the rest of the way. So mine are kind of stuck a little bit, so there we go. So I'm just kind of slid in and then drop one, so there we go. And just make sure when you do this that you're aligned with your holes, otherwise you can strip all of this through. Okay. And then I like to just kind of go like that. You can also do this while it's on the bike. It's just a little bit easier if you take it off. If you have a uh, sticker version of the pulley, um, you'll notice that this part is covered, so you won't be able to um, put the sprocket on the wheel with the pulley on. So what you're going to want to do is put the sprocket on the wheel first, and then put your pulley on. Okay. So next, you lock on to it there, and then screwed on the rest of the way. So I like to do just fairly tight, but then, you know, like a wheel, go to the next corner. Exactly. Right. Good now. So every once in a while, you're going to want to, because uh, it is plastic and plastic, uh, you know, it's, it has plasticity and it moves. Um, so every once in a while, you want to just double check your bike and just make sure everything's all tight. Uh, but yeah, that should be it.